Boo, you guys. Hey, are you ready to hop into another video? So today I thought that we could look at the Pride collection for Target. It's a little difficult to find, um, but it's interesting to say the least. I want to preface this with I'm so grateful for the changes we have come to and the progress we've made and even just having a Pride collection at Target's amazing. But also, that doesn't mean that they do it perfectly. And you know what? I had a cold sore and it's been a rough week with the government and everything. So I thought it'd be a nice fun break um, to just rip into something, you know? Uh, maybe get back to some more mythology stuff. But today I'm sporting a non-binary pride inspired look. Ooh, didn't like that up close with my acne. We're not wearing a full face today, but it'll still be good. So grateful for the change, but we're gonna be judging today. Are you ready? Let's do it. Finger uh, 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 uh. guns? I don't know, let's go. Okay, so we're gonna get into the setup. I think I'll just have the pictures like right over here so you can see what I'm talking about or looking at and I'm just gonna be um, looking them up on my phone. So the first thing, why don't we go look at underwear and socks? Because I've heard some stuff about binders Target. Let's see. Okay, we've got some <laughs> some adult pride jock strap. I mean, it's cute. It's not bad. It's just a rainbow jock strap. Um, let's see. Ooh, these are kind of cute. These I really like this like weird. It almost looks like uh like stone. I don't know. Like it looks like malachite but rainbow. That's really cute. Um, some weird, like, comic style shorts. Because that's boxer briefs. Okay, men's boxer briefs. Guys, it's pride. It's pride. Why are we... Why are we saying men's boxer briefs? See, Target. This is the first, first thing that's gotta go. Red flag. I mean, most of these are cute, like... Okay, some of them say adult, some of them say adult, but some of them said men. Okay, I'm sorry, Pride. I'm sorry, Target. You're actually doing it, okay? <laughs> some of them, though, Target. Um, Pride adult. I, a lot of these are saying adult. Good job. I'm Okay, good job, Target. Okay, we can't judge Target too much. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. I think that's better. <laughs> um... Target's doing your job. I mean, it's basically just basic underwear with pride stuff. That's cute. Let's see. Does that person have top surgery? <gasps> yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. I'm. And the the diverse um, models are also really good. They have lots of diversity and like body um, body shape and everything. I'm here for it. Okay. Ugh. This is all just good. This is boring. Oh, they have trans. Okay, this is so cute. I might just screen record scrolling through. That's what I should have done. I'll do that. Yeah, so the, okay, the socks are cute. So what I had heard, and this might have been a little bit ago, because I'm not sure. I heard that they had binders, but I haven't come across one yet. Like, at least, like, um in person and that they were calling them like like uh women's binders which i mean do you see the whole problem there like <laughs> like they're binders and most people who use binders are trans men and that's not saying you can't if you're a woman but like again why it gotta be women's binders stop <sighs> okay let's look at ooh. <laughs> Tops, yes. Okay, tops and bottoms. Pride adult, trans rights or human rights. Okay, this one's kind of cute. It's just a cute tie-dye. I mean, it's good. That's actually cute. What is this? Marsha and Sylvia. Oh, okay, that's a cute shirt. too far let's see okay i've seen this one before 
the the busy thinking about girls this one i know you see anyways but focus i thought it was funny because i had a friend send me the meme this is cute like i know it's like a little bit catery but i i think it's cute i like it don't come for me i swear to god <laughs> i think it's cute um Oh, I've seen the EO David one. I mean, I like Schitt's Creek, so I can't, I'm trying not to be biased. Like, I don't know. Is it Pride though? It had like, what, two gay characters? And they were, one was Pan and the other one was gay as far as I know. I'm like, it, okay, the only, the only reason I can be like, okay, this makes sense for an entire like, brand is because the creator was gay but like i feel like there's other shows that have more queer queer characters in it that would have been better like steven universe i'm also biased though <laughs> so who knows but i don't know it's not that bad um roses apothecary they have a bunch of a bunch of them with Shit's creek they must have had a partnership girl i don't trust it there's a lot of Shit's Creek ones. Like, I feel like there's so many other, like, here's our Rosebud Motel. Like, there's other queer TV shows, right? Like, this is not the only one. So why is this, like, the go-to? I don't know. What does this say? Oh, oh God, I can't read. Agulad? Legal dad? <laughs> a gula dad. I don't know, guys. I can't read. It's cute, though. It's not bad. Love's not a crime. It's it's cute. I mean, I don't have anything to say against it. Again, I'm trying to be positive because anything like this is good. And Why do I keep sliding down in this chair? Jesus. That's, that's probably better. So, but some some of most of these are cute. What does it say? Black and proud. Okay, love. I mean, it's basic, but I have not seen anything else um, about being black, which I like that. What is that? Okay, I think this is the first one that I I don't think we should have. Uh, it's like. They look like sushi rolls. <laughs> they look like sushi rolls almost. What is, okay. If you're a girl who likes abstract, just a little bit of judgment for me, not like too much, but like, I don't know. And I don't wanna be like, ooh, do real art because I know it's also gross, but this is like, I don't know. It, I feel like if you're gonna spend money and buy something that is like pride, then it should look like pride. This just looks like a gay guy would wear this like with a button down <laughs> underneath or something. I don't know, like it doesn't look, it doesn't scream pride, which I guess it doesn't need to, but. Okay, this one's cute. It's just got a bunch of pronouns on it. I like the idea of this. Okay, it says us. If it didn't have us, I would just say that I wouldn't, I personally wouldn't buy it because it's almost confusing because they're, it's like a bunch of pronouns. So I would assume that when people saw that, they would use those. But the us thing kind of clears up. Like it's just, you know, it's a statement. It's not like um your pronoun. So it's cute, but I don't know. I personally wouldn't wear, wear it. And I also don't like the colors. They're so like ugh, muted and Oh, no, no, no. Now that I now that I looked at them, I really don't like them. Okay, okay, let's move on, because I can't look at that anymore. Oh my gosh, the bisexual finger guns. Okay, see, this is cute, because this is just something, like, little. Like, if you don't know what the color of, like, the pride flags are, like, you're not gonna know that, like, those little finger guns are the bi flag. And it's just kind of, like, simple and still a cute t-shirt. I think that's a good blend, not super pride. Like, okay. Let's have pride. I, I want to make that clear, but like, you know, sometimes a full on rainbow is not what you should wear every day. So that's cute. 
Ooh, what else do we have to look through? I might take a break, because we're there's a lot of t-shirts. Well, we can come back, oh, maybe. No, there's a couple other cute ones. Okay, this is like a tank top. It says, what a wonderful world. That's cute. I think it has different pride colors. No, it's just, no, it's the non-binary one and the bi, but not the other ones. It has a few of the other ones. That one's a little weird, but I like it. The colors are a little too much. Love, religion, peace. Wait. <laughs> Love is my religion, peace, my state of mind. That one's hard to read too. Like all of these are really hard to read. People, please make your t-shirts way easier to read. It's cute though. It's not bad. Um, proud plant parent. Okay, this one's also kind of cute because it's not super pride. Like, it's kind of wicked almost, like the moons. I kind of like it. This one's cute. Like, I would wear this one. I mean, I don't wear tank tops, but if I did wear tank tops, I would wear this one. It's cute, right? Okay, um, oh, we got another page. I'm trying not to look at all of these guys. This is taking so long. Okay, Wolven, ooh, wait. <gasps> they have a Gottmik shirt? Okay. I don't wanna hear any controversy from the drag community right now. Okay. I have feelings about Gottmik. I am not going to deny that. And I love him. And this shirt's actually really cute. I wonder, Gottmik got paid for this, right? But like, I don't know, it seems really random. Like there's lots of other bigger queens. Not that he's not big, but like, I mean, it's a cute t-shirt though. I would probably get this. This is cute. Cut make, okay. Golden Girls, okay, that's also cute. I've never seen this show, but Liv, that's so cute. It's giving me almost like, um, like She-Ra or He-Man. Like the, it's really like 80s for some reason. I think it's like the the comic book texture, like the dots. Okay, they have little Nas X. Okay, this is what I like because this is like, and they had this on the site. Like they had the brands of, of the queer people that have made the clothing, which I really love because that's like, is showing who's actually making it and where some of the money's going to. But I like this because this is, um, showing you where I'm assuming part of the money's going and it's not just like gay, you know, like you're actually like, I don't know. I like stuff that has like a fandom behind it or like an image that I can connect to personally. So I love those. They also had a Bob Duke drag queen one, which is really cute. Also wear that one. I don't know. Like, again, I don't know how they selected like who, we're going to be the drag queens, but I'm not complaining. Okay, I'm skipping over some of these because these are just cute. This is a music cassette tape. This one seems really random to me. Like, for those of you who don't know, I thought it was gonna be like Magnus Archives for a second, but um, I mean, it's cute. I just don't really know why that's like super pride. Okay, they have a Star Trek one too. That's cute. I don't like Star Trek, but to each their own. Space is just like really hit or miss for me. There's quite a few Star Trek ones, but I'm not gonna show them all. And they have a SpongeBob one. I shouldn't have made this face. This, this, the SpongeBob stands are gonna come for me. I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know, it just seems weird that like Spongebob is a pride avatar, not a uh, mascot. I don't know. I haven't watched that much Spongebob. Spongebob, <laughs> not the Spongebob. Didn't say that either. Oh God, okay, I'm gonna stop talking. Dresses and rompers. This is taking me, I'm taking up a lot of time, but guys, these are really cute actually. Okay. Oh Lord. Okay, so I've seen this one. <sighs> I've seen this one on Reddit. It's the lesbian dress. I don't, I don't know what else to say about it that hasn't been already said. You guys, 
I, I'm not gonna say anything else. Oh no, someone made the weird abstract sushi shirt into a dress. Who, who allowed this? I don't like it. I don't like it at all. No, that's just plants. That's not really pride. It's cute, but like, don't label it pride for, I don't know, whatever. Okay, this romper's cute, but not really pridey, you know? I don't know. Okay, there weren't that many dresses or rompers, thank God, because I'm not looking through all those. That first one was bad though. And it looks like really factory made. Like it seems really easy that they could have just put all the different pride flags on like the same style dress. So I wonder why they only did lesbians because lesbians is also like a weird demographic to put a summer dress on and I don't want to stereotype or I'm not gonna stereotype. But like, I feel like if you were to do like the target audience for that, I would maybe do like the trans flag. Maybe I am being, maybe I'm perpetuating stereotypes. I'm so sorry. But I would not even wear that if it was the trans flag. Maybe if it was like watercolored, like blended and pastel, that would be kind of cute. Like tie dyed almost, but I still don't think I would. <laughs> Um, oh God. Okay, what are we doing next? Did we already do bottoms? Mm. Okay, um, most of these are hella boring. Like, these are just normal pants. Okay, this skirt's kind of cute. Festive mini skirt, adult. Okay, I don't know why they had a couple things that said like men's, but the rest of these are just saying adult, which is really good. Oh my gosh, this pastel like rainbow skirt is so cute. Are you kidding me? Okay, the rest of those were so lame. They were literally just like, like freaking biker shorts with just like a rainbow down the side, which again, it's not bad, but like, I don't know. Give me more, give me more, please. Okay, swimwear. This is gonna be interesting. Adult humankind unisex unisuit. Cause swimwear is something I feel like, especially with trans people, like I just swam for the first time and I wore like a, a feminine suit. It's scary, like it's, I just feel like that's something that you could get like in trouble with. I don't know, that's just, it's, uh, I don't know, it's dangerous. Not dangerous, like if they label one thing as a girl or what for swimsuits, I'm gonna lose it. Okay, so far these are cute. This is just like a black one. Rainbow Stripe, they really love that. I mean, if you like plain stuff, that's cute. It's kind of cute, actually. I'm not gonna dig into it anymore. I'm just trying to be negative. <laughs> I'm in a mood, okay? Okay, this one's kind of cute. Don't like the colors. It's really 80s, like it's got blocks of like that really bright color, but it says Cheers Queers, which I really like. I don't, I don't, I don't, it's like really small, so it's not super out there, but it's cute. I think that's kind of cute. I like it. Okay, most of these were just really like, they weren't, they were all good, like cute. Again, rocking the body types, rocking the race, you know, ethnicities. They've got it all, I'm so here for it. Okay, I love it. I know I sound really fake right now. I don't know, YouTube is hard, you guys. <laughs> YouTube is really hard, please don't come for me. Okay, okay, Um, the last thing we have is accessories. Now this. This is where I'm going all in because I want to see some good shit. Cause Target has really good like glasses and some random crap, so it better be good. Okay, let's see. What is this? Pride blue tote bag. This is for the dancing queens of the ballroom scene for the queens lovers. I'm not. I don't even. That is like the weirdest format for a poem. I don't. I don't understand it. I need to stop looking at my viewfinder. I hate everything right now. Okay. It's it's cute, it's not bad. Love the saddle handbag, AKA the fanny pack. Okay. Okay, this, this backpack's actually really cute. The black with like the just one rainbow stripe is really starting to grow on me. And I love that this, the zipper for this one is like halfway through the bag. Like, like you open the actual rainbow. That's cute. I like that. Pride adult 
rainbow scarf. Girl, that's not a rainbow. That's the trans flag. It's blue, pink, and white. <laughs> that's not a rainbow. Don't put a rainbow on it. Just because it's pride. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Guys, this hat? Why are the colors so muddled in like dirty water? Ew, don't like that. Uh uh. No. No thanks. What is this? A visor? I, f I mean, those old ladies are. <laughs> I don't know who wears a visor. I don't know anyone who like wears one. It's not. The, the iridescent like straps are cute. It's not bad. Um, and then they have like, ooh, some cute patches. But they only have they, them pronouns. Guys, come on. Like the rest of the patches and pins are cute, but how are you gonna be out here only doing one set of pronouns? Okay, wait, they have another one. The all, it only says she, her, they, them, he, him, us. This is about equality? You're only gonna put they, them pronouns on one, really? Okay, choices. As Alyssa Edwards would say, choices. This girl. I mean, they're not the worst, but you really couldn't just do like a few more pronouns. Um, okay, we have a freaking. it's a fan that says queer. Girl, you know if a drag queen's not buying this or someone that goes to drag bars, it's getting stuck in a bin after Pride and never being used again. <laughs> Maybe until next next Pride. And, God, okay, this is the last fan. Target needs to get their shit together. Why is it like the ugliest colors ever? Are you kidding me right now? Like... Forgive me if I'm wrong, but like those aren't even the exact pride colors, which is fine. But like, I don't know, they're like muddled and like gray. Ugh. It's very 70s. I think that's what it is. It's like the 70s shades of colors. I don't know, I don't like it. Well, overall, th honestly, it was better than I expected it to be from like other people's videos, like judging it. They went like in on everything. I don't think it was that bad. Like, don't come for me, but I thought some of them were actually cute. And I like that they uh, like put the creators down low, like below. I would say like seven out of 10. Some of them were, most of them were pretty cute, but I think Target needs to get their crap together. Anyways, I'm needing to end this video. So that being said, thank you for watching. And for giving me some time to have fun in this insanely stressful time. And thank you for not pointing out my cold sore and my acne. And with that, I'm gonna go. Bye, bitches.